Good day. Today we're going to continue with LO1. And we're going to look at video number four, which will focus on the record long model. It's a 1988 model. Still very relevant in, 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 in still really still very relevant today. The rec and long model. So after our discussion, you will be able to understand or have a clear understanding of the evolution or the growth of supply chain management over the years. And also understanding or taking a critical overview of the different stages that it involves. Alright? So let's look at this record long model and its relevance still today. Now, the record long model shows the growth of supply chains from the passive stage to an integrative stage. So once upon a time, supply chains won't link to the strategic objective of the organization. Case in point, imagine that the objective of an organization was to reduce costs by 20%. Supply chains in an integrative environment should respond. They may respond by renegotiating contracts with suppliers, cutting costs where they can, right? Maybe, maybe using a, a different mode of transportation and many other strategies they can apply. But the model really takes us through the different steps that brought us here today. So today, in most cases, supply chains are integrative, but we always started somewhere. So let's look at the first stage, the passive mode, in a bit more detail. In the passive mode, we were reactive, not proactive. So the plant wants material, then we respond. We weren't collaborating with the plant a week before, a month before, to get those items on your site. So that by the time the plant is ready to start the job, the materials are already there. All right? So we were operating in a passive mood many years ago. Still exists today, but many organizations have moved away from that. We improved a bit and we went into an independent type of mood. Now remember, in the passive mood, you will not link to the organization's directive or, or direction. So there was a disconnect between what the supply chain is doing and what the organization wants to do or plans to do. But then we got to the independent stage. Some improvement, but not much. So here's how we improved. Supply chain started adopting strategies, real strategies. But the gap that existed was still integration. So those strategies still weren't able to integrate or link to that of the organization. So if supply chains were applying vendor managed inventory to reduce um, inventory holding costs, that may or may not be what the company might be about. The company's objective might have been to have items available on hand to meet customer demand at any given time. And in their mind, VMI may not have been the applicable solution. Right? That's just one example. We left the independent mood and we moved to supportive. So in the supportive mood, they be, we started having some integration. So there was integration in terms of sharing strategies. So what the objective of the organization or whatever the organization had planned to do, supply chain department and other functions were falling in line. Now we are at the best stage possible integrative stage. Many supply chains are here today. The Amazons, the Zara's, Tesla's, uh, GE, Rolls Royce, Boeing. Their supply chains are very integrative. They have been able to collaborate in real time with organizations or suppliers and partners from all over the globe. It's the best way. It's the best way to do business. It will actually win over what we call the bullwhip effect, sometimes called the Forrester effect, which is um, an effect whereby elements in your supply chain don't know what is going on. So if the customer wants, if the customer demands uh, 4,000 bearings this month, the supply chain cannot respond because they are not ready, they are not collaborating. All right? But 
with the with the existence of a bullwhip effect and collaboration, you're better able to survive. Because if the market suddenly wants 10,000, then we can respond quickly. Why we can respond quickly? We are all integrated. Thank you.